Okay, good morning. Let's continue the trip and also test out the new suspension. First time I'm actually driving this. Now that it's lowered and I have my gear on the bike. Okay, still the crackling, crackling T7. Takes a bit of time for it to get warm. Oh, seems good now. Okay. Should go to the right. Still have all my thick winter driving gear on and it's getting a little bit too warm, to be honest. Yeah, and by the way, my back is a little bit better today. Not a completely <laughs> healthy feeling, but uh, I put on my shoes today and I didn't feel shooting pain, so that's a win. First time I get to comment on this height of the bike with the new setup. It's so much better. I have such a confidence coming into these weird junctions and uh, stopping suddenly. It's so much better. I have a lot better footing, even if the ground is not perfectly level. It doesn't matter which which leg I put down. Previously, I had to think, really think about it. It builds up confidence, and you don't really have to think about that so much. Hello, <laughs> do you still sell coffee or do I have to go there? Coffee, okay, thanks. Morning. So nice to have some benches outside. There was some inside, but I'm <laughs> I'm steaming hot with this gear on, so I'm not gonna stay inside. I bought, bought some dry looking muesli bars. I guess they are gonna go down with the coffee to have some food in me. Yeah, let's see where this Polish tet will take us. That's a lot of patches on asphalt. <laughs> this has been patched for tens of tens of generations with pride. Oh, this has been a tarmac sometime. This is a very old tarmac very close to being actually a gravel road <laughs> but you can see it's it's been a tarmac at some point there's still some remnants of it but it's pretty cool that Osmat is also thinking that yeah this is a road Easy to get stuck on this this heavy bike. Okay. So I can't 
lift the bike. My broken back, so that's why I'm taking this super, super carefully. Just walking it through. Just walking it through. It hasn't actually rained at all when I'm driving the whole trip, so it's been a really nice, nice weather. Hello. So calm, so peaceful. Yeah, I guess there's a river there where the guy was fishing. I was asking if there's any fishing lines where I'm driving. Because he was preparing something, but it was fine. They just smiled at me. <laughs> Probably had no idea what I was on about. But yeah, I'll take a picture here and then we'll continue. Birdies, are you gonna be protecting a nest or can I pass? <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> cute. <laughs> That's a <laughs> deep one. Yeah. <sighs> Everything's muddy now. Nice and muddy. I can see just about 
as much as you guys probably. So it turned out this day was pretty long. I have been driving on the road now for 10 hours just about. I left at 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, it's now 8 o'clock in the evening and I have no idea where I'm going. But I've been driving the motorway for 130 kph for the last <laughs> be two hours so I would get there in time plus I don't want to drive these small village roads when it's pitch back black because I can't see the animals or anything else for that matter lights are okay on this bike but uh, the long lights are shit they are okay on this town speed but when you go to a hundred or even 80 you can see pretty much nothing <laughs> so I have still 12 kilometers to go so let's try to get there also I have no food luckily I have water plenty of water so I've been trying to find a food source some kind of grocery store but no luck yet as you can see I'm driving 80 and I can see almost nothing barely can see that the road is straight at this time which I can do on the GPS as well but if there's an animal on the road if, if uh, something jumps in front of me I can't see anything and when the road turns I, I'm struggling to react because I see it so late and by the way it's been 7 degrees Celsius for the whole evening so very cold this is always the interesting part trying to find the Airbnb this was super super cheap and there were no reviews so I'm the first one to review this place so I took a risk taking this and coming here so late I don't have time to probably find anything else if this fails so then I would just have to tent which I'm not very happy about because it's so cold I'm not sure if you can see anything but uh, I wanted to test how the DJI is in pitch black darkness but right now only thing I can see is what the light shows me and it shows me very little so you can probably see the instrument cluster and not much more than that I have to take it easy on the corners because sometimes these roads just suddenly turn into gravel roads and if you come 80 into a tight corner you're in trouble very fast only seven kilometers to go so basically I'm not trying to even find a grocery store anymore I'm just gonna go and book my place if I can do that then I can Google if there is anything out here where you can buy food and just drive there. One Polish guy invited me to visit, but uh, he's even more north from here, so I'm probably gonna skip because I want to get out of this cold climate as fast as possible I'm done with this weather I'm okay I'm not like freezing my ass off but uh, my hands are pretty cold and I, I am getting <laughs> bored of this and this Airbnb was like 12 euros <laughs> so if this actually turns out to be a place and a decent one it's the cheapest Airbnb I've ever been to so Let's see what the cheapest Airbnb I've ever been to looks like in Poland. <laughs> I need to check every now and then if I'm actually running the high beam. <laughs> I am, but I can't see anything. Oh, 
lucky me there's some lights here yeah I can see it's very misty I can't really see more than 50 meters out to the fields wow it's so beautiful here I wish you can I wish you can see some of this the mist is just like from a horror movie I can see even less now but damn it's beautiful beautiful oh now I'm cold it, it's indicating six degrees and the mist is so it's like raining the humidity is so high Wow, this is just so... Oh shit, I can't see when the road turns. I'm like a blind bat. Bats are blind, aren't they? <laughs> I don't have a sonar. I have to be careful. I don't want to go to a ditch here. There's not many people driving past. Oh, and the moon, it gives a even more atmosphere to this. Wow. This is like a good kind of scary as well. You have, I have no idea if there is anything out here. That's an Airbnb or... But I should be there in one and a half kilometers. I really hope this is a right place. truck was following me but I don't see it anymore <laughs> damn this is getting spooky <laughs> what the hell? okay looks like this might be the place there are some houses so I'm probably going to have to look at the instructions because I haven't read anything. I don't even know the house number. I only, only know the coordinates. It was marked to the map with Google Maps coordinates. So there were no address. Oh, well, there's a town here though. So. And big houses. No, not, not so big, but nice, beautiful houses. It's super eerie that this is so quiet, this neighborhood here, and these villages. You barely see anyone. Let's see. I have no clue where I'm going. Let's see. Airbnb, directions, oh and I'm in a 3G network, so I can't even open the images. Okay, so I don't have the address, I only have in the listing the coordinates. Let's see the photos, but even if I can open the photos, are there any outside photos? There are some, one, only one, and it's really bad. Hmm. There are some tires in the front side, flowers, it's brown, brown and some wooden tires outside. If I don't find that kind of place, I have to call the hotel. But this is the location. Oh, I'm gonna check that one time with Google Maps, because sometimes that <coughs> Osman does not show the same place. Oh, it's so cold and my nose is running. Let's see if she knows where I'm going. <laughs> Hello? Are you the Airbnb? 
Oh, perfect. <laughs> I was just wondering where am I? <laughs> yes, I'm Ismo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for coming because I can't see anything. It's weird. <laughs> weird to find. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. No, Deutsch. <laughs> okay. But that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Nice, nice, very nice, yes. <laughs> oh. 